we are inspired by the lipid membrane because it's a very simple but at the same time complex self-assembled structure which is present in cells. Around this membrane topic we have two research lines, one focus in the transport or the delivery of molecules, small molecules and biomolecules across membranes, another topic which tries to replicate processes which happen confined or under membranes, for example the replication of simple synthetic cytoskeleton organelles. So we got very interesting and promising results for virus mimetic systems that we use to deliver RNA inside cells, but in this case using synthetic dynamic peptide carriers. Uh, those promising results were the first stepping stone that allow us to think that this project could have an application, uh, application potential. And so the EIC was a perfect opportunity for us to think about exploring uh, the, the activities that would allow us to move and transfer this technology into a different environment beyond the bench, and in this case maybe more related to biomedical applications. You have to think deeply on, on the challenge that you want to address and how your technology could provide something different as compared to what is already there. possible you should achieve some interesting proof of principle beyond the state of the art that could be recognized as something really different. You should surround yourself with the best human resources team and support them as much as you can, treat them well, involve them in all the activities of the, of the process and yeah, motivate them the best as you can because they will be the keys to your success.